As part of our special suicide prevention coverage this month, we take a closer look at veterans advocacy groups that focus on healing mind, body, and spirit. One of those groups is POW, a nonprofit based in San Diego that combines the physical benefits of mixed martial arts with the emotional benefits of a peer support network. Take a look. All right, all right. Here we go. Okay, go. Go from over under now. Over under. Keep working. Who's going to get the takedown? Suck him out, Johnny. Jogging. Shaking the arms out. Get that breath going. Outside. Walk. Inhale up. Good. This is a place where it's like recess for you guys. I want it to be like happy time. The MMA aspect is just, I like to say it's just the stage in which the play takes place. It could be on a volleyball court, it could be on a, ten on a tennis court, whatever. But because of this generation, mixed martial arts is so popular that it draws the military guys in. These wars, I should say, have been so um, confusing to the troops over there and the Marines that <clears throat> they're, they're dealing with a lot more psychological issues and not just physical issues. You know, and the psychological stuff really branches out to the rest of their life when they get home. And so I think that the combination of the MMA aspect, the hard <laughs> physical training, that breeds camaraderie. And with that camaraderie, you get a lot of trust. And with that trust, they start to open up and they let their guard down a little bit. Okay, go, go from over under now, over under. Looking for pummeling, pummeling. Go for takedowns, use the striking to set up those underhooks. Head position, hips, wrist control. Aaron getting tossed around like a little girl. There you go, get off the cage, get off the fence. Nice. It's one of the most intense workouts I've ever done, so there's no way you could do this hungover. And in a sense, it kind of helps the people that are tending to go to the bottle because they want to come here and they can't. So they, they're, they're dropping that bottle off a little bit more and saying no. You gotta fire back, Terrence. There we go. Um, for me, class is just my little hour to get away from everything. Um, I have PTSD and I have a lot of anxiety during the days. So being able to come here, knowing that I can come here, I kind of get an hour away from, you know, just whatever's going on at home or at work or wherever, I can just come here, have fun with the guys, then go back, you know, but at least have something because sometimes we get back home and we really don't have anything, you know, when we get out. Me personally, I, I was almost at rock bottom myself. I was almost identity crisis, like I was lost and uh, Sure enough, I got the nerve to just keep on coming back, keep on coming back, keep on coming back, and it got me right out of there. Like, got me focused. I got a new job. Like, started getting better grades. Like, everything in my life just started going back into where it used to be, and I, I discovered who I was again. Banana split that. Banana split, Terrence. We've got, I've served probably over 200 students now have come through the program. You know, a lot of my students have master's degrees. They've moved. They bought houses. They're married. And when I brought them in they were down at the Old Town Station with, with meth you know, on them, you know, or they were at VVSD, homeless, and now they're checking the block and kind of moving along in life, and that's the ultimate reward for me. You gotta breathe through it, okay? You can't fight the stretch because the stretch will win. You just gotta surrender to it. Just, get, just let it go. This group's helped me a lot. Uh, it's given me a chance to, again, like I said, just be around people, trust people again, be able to I don't know, just have fun. Being able to enjoy life and feel safe. Ready? One, two, three, run! Coming up tomorrow on DOD News, a closer look at POW's founder, Todd Vance. For more information on the program, go to their website, powsd.org.